I, mo most people do this. Most people do this. They buy Shiba Inu, they buy fucking Doge, and they think they're they think they're cryptocurrency experts. They're not. Yeah, I can't even see you, bro. Can you see me? I can see your face, bro. Like I can see your face loud and clear, man. You have a great face. Your face looks great. See my head, bro? Yeah, you look. Whoa. Oh, what's that? We got a black dot yet? I fell, man. I fell out of my shower here and hit this point. <laughs> Seriously. <laughs> Crazy, eh? What fuck is that? I wonder why I can't see you. Can you see me? No, nah, man. It's a black screen. A black yeah. screen. I got you on. Oh, I got your camera right now, bro. No, yeah, but see, I'm bro. on my. Everybody can see us. I can't That's see you, bro. But That's I also got a YouTube page, bro. How you feeling, man? You good? You okay? I'm Jiggy, bro. Good, man. Good, man. Yeah, give me them charts. What's that? Bitcoin? Of course. That looks amazing. Okay, 32. Guys, that's a good looking chart to me. That looks like a bottom to me. It might be micro. It might be micro, but we just broke the previous. I know that chart, man. That's a good chart. That's a good chart. That's that a good chart. chart. That's a good chart, bro. Bro, if anybody got time, bro, go <laughs> over to go over to my it. channel, bro. I'm going go on the MDX portal. Show that shit. I'm doing the MDX portal. What's it? One second. This is my channel, bro. That's a good chart, guys. That's a good chart. Seriously. There you go, bro. Yeah, we're going up from here. We're, go we're, going, in we're going at least back to 35.4. We're going to go back to 35.4 on that. I'm drunk and I'm fucking high as shit, but like, I would say that 35.4 is my place. <coughs> You're high. Do you smoke, bro? Bro, I don't smoke weed. I don't smoke weed. I, I, I never smoke weed. Like, I smoke weed and maybe a little bit of uni, but tonight I did smoke a joint. You know what? It doesn't really affect me. It just makes me think even fucking better. You, I think even smoke, uh... better on that stuff. I feel like I really, I, honestly, that stuff makes me think like the next level. Makes me, make, makes me think the next level. Where, bro? You're a weed guy anyway, yeah. You, you ever smoked the wax, bro? It was hash. Yeah. They smoke uh, hash here in, in, in uh, Portugal. They smoke hash. You know what? It's legal here. It's legal. It's like California, yay. Yeah, you know? Yeah, Canada, bro. We're in Canada, bro. Yeah, Canada. Is it legal in Canada? Yes, it's legal, bro. But do you smoke the wax, bro? Yeah, the uh, hashish. No, bro. The wax, bro. It's not hash, bro. What, resin. Resin. It's not, nah, bro. Shatter, bro. Concentrate. Dude, I'm not, I'm not a big guy in the smoking game, you know what I'm saying? But like, I would say to you right now... You know what I do know, though? I think you are a big guy in the Bitcoin game, bro. I think you know a couple things about that, don't you? Hey, bro. Yo. I've been in the game for a while, mate. When, was the, when did you first buy Bitcoin, bro? Like, how many years ago? Okay. I'll give you the story. Let me turn this, turn this fucking stuff down, all right? So I bought Bitcoin. I bought Bitcoin in 2016. Oh. Where? Uh, on a, I actually bought on. I bought on Coinbase. I also bought on Bitmama. Bitmama was the was the I've exchange. It's not even around anymore. But like uh, in 2016, I bought Bitcoin, um, and it was it was a. Uh, the reason I put all my money in Bitcoin was because I realized that Bitcoin is a fucking big deal. And I, used, I, I, I trade, I trade FX markets. I trade FX markets, but I, I made no money in FX. I made no money in forex exchange. I, 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 I literally lost money. I, 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 I lost money. So, for me, Bitcoin was like a beacon of light. And then I really went down the rabbit hole. And even today, I'm still learning. But you know, Bitcoin is a fucking bigger thing than most people think. You know, it's, it's a really big fucking movement. So, uh, I put all my, I, I bought eight thousand dollars worth of Bitcoin at six hundred bucks. It went to twenty fucking thousand, and then that was you know the rest is fucking history. Wow, the rest bro. Is you lit, bro. <laughs> Man, I did from fucking nothing, bro. Look at me right now. Look at me. I'm the I same guy. See. I'm the same fucking guy as any I of you motherfuckers. I am the same fucking guy. 
I gotta put I my. I came from fuck all. And I made myself millions, millions upon oh. millions. Hold on, bro. Hold on. I'm opening my other phone because I can't see you. Why can't you fucking see me, bro? See my. I can't see you on this, my other phone. So I gotta talk to you like this. But yeah, man, me and my girlfriend, we watch you, bro. We fucking, we enjoy your content, man. You're great. We think uh, just your attitude, bro, the way you fucking deliver it, deliver it is amazing. Thank you, bro. I respect you, man. Look, I don't know how anyone else is delivering it. I'm just delivering it. I, I know I'm a bit drunk right now, yeah? No, no bro, it's, it's the way you are as a human and just how you are yourself, bro. Yeah. Listen, man, everyone's a different fucking person online. And I used to be that guy. I didn't come out of nowhere. I, I had a YouTube channel for like two years before, but I never ever really. What, what was, was the first time for making? I was making content about decentralized applications. Max Dapp. My channel was called Max Dapp before. Okay. So I traded. I traded the markets. I'm a trader through and through. I was always a trader from the beginning. But what I didn't think that I didn't think that I could be that guy. I didn't think that I could be that guy who could be the trader guy. Right? What year are you born, bro? What? What year are you born? Uh, I was born in '92. '92. Twenty-eight. Yeah, I'm. I'm a '90, 1990. So. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You're older than me. Two, two years, bro. But fuck yeah, you're killing it, man. Yeah, but dude, listen, listen to me right now, bro. I, I'll, I'll tell you the truth. Like, I didn't do my trading content at the beginning because I didn't think that anyone would listen. Okay, I did. A, I, and I tried to get a niche, and the niche was decentralized applications. That was way too early. Decentralized applications was way too early. That's happening now. Like NFTs and De yeah. DeFi. I was talking about that before I was doing the trading channel. So, you know, all I can say is like, you never know what your journey is. You never know what your journey is. It's just a fucking ride, bro. It's a ride. Really? I got lucky. I'm not even like, cause I do a little bit of content, right? And like what happened for me, bro, they, somebody told me to start reacting to different types of rap music, like from countries. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Sick, yeah, sick. I like that and shit and like i've i've created i now like i'm in canada bro but i have a bunch of friends now in germany and a bunch of friends in fucking poland and yeah. they've introduced me all this shit and it's like <laughs> learning this youtube world bro and getting connection and just meeting people and just like it's the coolest thing in the world bro it literally is the coolest it really thing, thick as fuck. YouTube, like, youtube is the best university youtube is the best connector of people and guess what youtube it's like a different, it's like, it's like an archive of all history. Where? You, it's a big deal, guys. Like, it's a fucking big deal. I literally, do you know what I do, bro? I save, I save everything, bro. I fucking save everything and I fucking make it private. I have so much private shit on my YouTube just for, as bank. You know what I mean? For when, when it really happens, bro, because there's going to be a time when I'm going to fucking be doing shit, man. I know it. And uh, I'm just going to have a bunch of content all backlogged. So Mate, it, yeah, it, it, con content is king. Content is king. Right. Uh, I really believe that, you know, at the end of the day, the thing, the, th the thing about the world right now is this, right? Okay, so content, okay, is, you know, you could put up a million videos and none of those videos can have any influence on anybody. But all you need is one video to get big. Right. And it costs nothing. It costs nothing to do that. Like you can put content online, which costs nothing. And you have the potential to be something if the world takes control of that video. So there's no risk in being a content creator because it, you, it doesn't cost anything. Like if, you, if, you, if you make a business like selling watches, you have to make watches. If no one buys them, you lose money. But content, I, I say you need to compound content. Content is like you compound content, like compound interest. You can get yourself into a really good place because there's no risk. If there's no risk, I trade the markets, guys. Like, I understand risk. If there's no risk and it's only reward and you, if you put a video up and it doesn't make any work, you have to, you have to really um, think about what YouTube is. It's a very, very, very powerful thing. It really is. It really is. Word. 
I know I'm just drunk shit, but you know what I'm saying? Like, I'm, I feel what like- you, What is your family? Like, when your family figured out what you did with your YouTube, what did they say? Like, they were just like, what the fuck was they like? Yeah, my, my parents never believed in what I was doing from the beginning. My parents are like old school English. Hello, sir. My name is <laughs> Stuart Greenfield. Like, my, my parents are very old school. Like, English, you know, hello, how are you? Like, the, the whole fucking voice, the, the, their voice is different. I love my father. I love my mother. My mum's like, uh, you know, my father, he created so many great businesses in the internet age. But my dad always used to say this to me. He always used to say, what's the next big thing? What's the next big thing? And when I told my dad that Bitcoin was the next big thing, he didn't believe me. Okay. So he didn't catch on my dad at the beginning. My parents like didn't get it, bro. My parents didn't get it for so long. They didn't get it for so long. They, they, they thought I was, my, my dad tried to get me counseling. My dad tried to get me to go to someone to have like therapy about a cryptocurrency addiction. <laughs> what? On, 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 bro, bro, listen to me right now. My dad I, told me, that, like, bro, my dad thought that I was like insane. I'm telling you the fucking truth. My dad thought I was crazy. Guess what? Yeah. Guess, what, guess, what, guess what? Guess what? My dad says now. Can you what? take me a salary for dealing with the admin? My dad now wants a salary from me. So, like, you know what I'm saying? Like, the tides have changed. The tides have changed. And my dad only did it because he loves me and he wants me right. the best for me. Right. But he didn't, he didn't see the next thing on the horizon. And th th this, this, okay, my dad's an open-minded guy. So I think to myself, what's the thing which I won't see? I think in my head, what's the thing that I won't see? Because maybe my son will tell me something like, Oh yeah, this is weird thing you plug in. It's like the fucking matrix. I mean, you know, I, I might, <laughs> I might the fuck hell, bro. <laughs> Listen, my 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 son. All right, when I have a son, listen to me right now. My son might say this, Dad. Uh, he, he might say to me, Dad, I don't want to go fishing with you in the real ocean, so I might as well just plug into the fucking metaverse and go fishing in the fucking virtual world. And I'm like, come on, mate. Like, get out, get the fuck out. Like, let's go do it in the real world. And then I'm wrong. Apparently I'm wrong. Because apparently doing it in the metaverse means you make more money. So yeah. my dad was wrong, bro. My dad was wrong about what I said. And now he's all over it. He's like, oh, I want to hear what you have to say and all these things. But my dad didn't back me. My father, my, my, my father, you know, my family didn't back me, bro, at the beginning. Not at the beginning. Now they obviously do. But not at the beginning. No what, one what else are you passionate about? Like, like, if you could go do whatever, what would you go do? I'm passionate about health, health, health. Yeah, figuring out cures for diseases. I think you nailed it on the head. Yeah, I, I, I think that the best cure is prevention. So any, you... okay, okay. If you cut your arm off, if your arm gets severed, right? You need penicillin. You need someone to help you. Okay. Uh, so uh, when you play tennis, you have an un, an unenforced error or an enforced error. Okay. So. How I say is this, that there's a lot of degenerative, degenerative diseases which people are going through right now, like cancer, heart disease, autism, or, or you know, these diseases. And I think that these diseases are probably tied to like, maybe one, maybe one or two things. Maybe it's like nutrition in the body or maybe environment. So if you're in an environment which can, you know, you're, you're taking a lot of chemicals or you're eating a lot of chemicals, maybe that can have an effect on your health. I don't want to go too deep into this, but I think that the health food industry and the, and the, um, the pharmaceutical industry are the same thing. I think that's the same thing. I think health foods and pharmaceuticals are actually the same thing. And I think that nutrition, I think, I think, I think nutritionists, nutritionists are the real doctors because they prevent illness before it happens. Well is getting more geared towards like like especially like certain things that i follow and stuff like just the way that people are literally opening up to how food is so important and like how uh like plant based and just like like literally getting off like you did you see that fucking sea spiracy shit bro that yeah. Talking see that i haven't watched that yet my friend told me i, I watched cow spiracy haven't watched sea spiracy yet i think it's oh. amazing Oh, it's fucking me and my girlfriend watched, bro. It was fucking crazy. It's absolutely insane, man. And it's literally the world's fucking dying because of us and the stupid shit we're doing, bro. Yeah. yeah.
Yeah. You know, no, no individual has, you know, the power to make a change. But like, I think like they, they could be a few individuals we could like create some sort of movement against it. But like, I eat fish, I eat chicken, I eat beef, right? Mm -hmm. And like, I think that you know, have you seen have the uh, about how they're creating meat now? They're growing meat. I really like this. I really like this. Have you seen that, bro? Yeah, super. I I know a company from two years ago called Super Meat. Okay, so where's my phone? What, do you think, they what, did what, it what the fuck do you think about that? What do I think about it? What do you, the fuck do you think about that? I think that it's crazy that the meat is alive. That you eat the meat alive. Oh, I didn't hear that. I I, I no, I didn't well, hear. Yeah, you never kill the you never kill the beef. Like if if you're growing that 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 plant is the. Okay. You, know, you understand what I mean? Like, if we're growing meat, we're eating meat that's never been killed. But the thing is, you have to take this into account. An animal, right, has much more cognitive, like, uh, you know, an animal, right? So I say this a lot of times. Like, if you think animals don't have feelings, you're a fucking idiot. Because my girlfriend has a million feelings, okay? We're animals. Human beings are animals. We're primates, okay? If you go into the fucking English history, we're animals, right? So we're the same as every other animal in the planet. We're basically like a combination of all animals through natural selection, which makes us a little bit better, a little bit more intelligent. So we're quite similar to a lion. A lion has two eyes. A lion has one mouth and a nose. A lion is actually quite similar to a human being, but actually natural selection over millions of years have created a, a being which has higher intelligence, which is human beings. So we're animals, okay? Do you feel me? Animals, right? We're fucking animals. That's all we are. We live in the animal instinct world. Okay? So, I don't even know what my point was. <laughs> I don't even know what I'm saying right now. But like, if we can create meat, if we can create meat, which human beings, oh, without, without an animal, without an animal, bruv, without a fucking animal, I think it's a good thing. What I'm saying, this by Josh Davies, what I'm asking, what I'm saying is, bro, is that they're literally, they have created meat now that is being grown in a lab. I like that. I like that. I like what that. I'm saying is, it's crazy to think that if we're going to eat meat grown from a lab, that it's never been killed. Like, it's, 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 it's alive meat. That's like good. That yeah. means no conscious decision. Like, there was no consciousness. Okay, most animals don't have consciousness. Only right. dolphins and elephants have consciousness. But if we eat meat, which never had like a brain, is better. These cows are getting slaughtered every fucking day. These chickens are getting slaughtered. They're, they're sad, they're angry, they're jealous. All of, the, all of the animals which get slaughtered every day go through the same emotions we do every day. There's, there's research which comes out saying this, right? If you, if you eat a chicken, which was an organic chicken, which no, with no stress, okay, cortisol, cortisol, Stop so you, okay, okay, okay. Let me give you a point right now, my bro. Bro, listen to me right now. Give, let me give you a point. Let me give you a fucking point right now. If I'm really stressed out all the time, if, if me, Max, MDX, is really stressed out all the time, I can't create muscle. So if I go to the gym, right, and I'm really stressed out all the time, I can't create muscle because of cortisol, right? It's in my blood. So think about this right now. All these fucking animals getting slaughtered, they can't even create good muscle because they're all stressed out because they're getting slaughtered so it's about a biological thing we need to have fucking but, animals but do they even know but when you say they're all stressed out getting slaughtered but if like these animals are only in these places that they've been like grown in you know what i mean like they have chicken factories type shit right that's all they know, bro. How, how are they gonna know the the difference to be not stressed out that's another thing it, they don't know any different, okay? But are they still scared? Is the, is the chemical cortisol in their blood? That's the question. That's the question. I don't want to hear about the fucking, fucking goddamn, you know, the <laughs> rhetoric. I want to hear about, is there cortisol in their blood? Because if cortisol is in my blood, I can't make muscle. It's huh. a weird topic, bro, but you know what? It's good to fucking talk about it. It's good to fucking talk about it. I don't know, man. I appreciate you, bro. I really appreciate you just fucking... Tap me in, man. Um, I enjoy your content. I've learned a lot from you. And uh, I'm just going to continue to follow, bro. 
My name's Scott, bro. Nice to meet you. I just figured out your name's Max, man. I did. I'm going to keep fucking going. I'm never going to stop. And I'm always going to be here. Just chatting fucking shit about what I think. That interview with you and Dan, whatever, Bill, yeah. whatever his name is. That was a good interview, bro. I watched that two days ago, I think. Yeah. No, Dan, Dan, Dan has some great values. He understands free market capitalism, which I really respect. And I think that, you know, I think, I think Bitcoin is an educator for free market capitalism being the best way uh, for us to have a society. And I get that's a big topic, but, you know, bro, even in England right now, like, you know, Matt Hancock, you know, giving money away to the NHS and all this cronyism. I feel like, um, you know, for the people, for people to be, in the best place they can be. We need to have a free market society. We need no control from government. We don't need government to tell the free market what it needs. We need government to just basically be the dictator saying that, you know, it needs to be the referee for the free, you know, referee for freedom. So if, if you hurt someone or you kill someone, you should go to jail for it. That's all, you know, that's all, you know, if you harm somebody else, you need some type of recourse, but the economy needs to be free, I, I believe. Word, bro. I'm going to tap out of here, bro. I appreciate you, man. <laughs> I'm going to sit here and chat shit all night, bro. So have a fucking good night, man. Yeah, well, I'm going to fucking take a, a fucking dab here, bro. And go <laughs> Yes, boy. And, uh, yeah, just, uh, stay in I'm going to fix some more fucking gin, mate. Yeah, so. I'll, be, I'll be talking to you, bro. I'll send you a message, man. You're a legend. You're a fucking legend. Bless up, man. Talk to you soon. Fucking arm absolutely smashed. I can't even see the screen. <laughs>